Have you ever eagerly wanted to communicate with someone but faced a language barrier? Now of course you could learn the language, but that will for sure take a long time and what if you want to understand multiple languages all at once? Well, get ready for a faster and easier way to interpret with the Time Kettle X1 Interpreter Hub, which has 40 languages and 93 accents available. It has various different modes you can use, and in this video, we'll go through each mode and test it out. So without further ado, let's begin with one-on-one -on -one mode. With the X1 Interpreter Hub, you get instant interpretation without any fuss. Just grab the earbuds and you're set. No need for complicated setups or app downloads. The technology automatically detects when you start and stop speaking, making the conversation hands-free. And the best part is that both people can talk and hear translations simultaneously, so you can even argue if you want. But now let's put it to the test and see if all of that really is the case. Hey Max, how's the progress on the video? Das video is gerade fertig geworden und liegt schon auf dem Server. Perfect. Did you add subtitles like we discussed on Monday? Ja, die Untertitel sind drin. Es wäre nur gut, wenn du noch mal drüber schaust, dass da keine Rechtschreibfehler drin sind. Of course, I will get Pedro to check those. And thank you so much for your work. Did you also add the graphics and animations that we talked about? Ja. Es ist alles drin, alle Grafiken und alle Animationen, wie wir es besprochen haben. Amazing. Thank you so much, Max. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the finished result. Dankeschön. I described the outcome as satisfactory. While not flawless, we did observe a higher occurrence of errors in translations from German to English compared to the reverse direction. Waiting to hear the response from the other person also takes a considerable amount of time, indicating a need for improvement in speed. However, for everyday conversations, in relationships, or with international friends, it certainly gets the job done. Now let's move on to listen and play mode, which is perfect for international meetings where you're the only one who doesn't speak the language. Just swipe to this mode, put on the earbuds, and you'll hear continuous AI interpretation. Plus, you can join the discussion anytime. Just press the button to translate and broadcast. Let's put it to the test. So. Hier bei Versus zeigen wir euch die neuesten technischen Vergleiche von Handykameras bis hin zu Kopfhörern, die das Übersetzen von Sprachen ermöglichen. Und wir stecken enorm viel Arbeit in jedes einzelne Video, um dir als Kunde und Zuschauer unserer Videos die Entscheidung beim Kauf eines neuen Geräts zu erleichtern. Schau dir einfach unsere neuesten Videos an und lass auch gerne ein Abo da auf unserem Kanal, um keine neuen Videos mehr zu verpassen. What a great idea for a channel. I will definitely be subscribing and I wish you so much luck in the future with all of your content. Was für eine tolle Idee für einen Kanal. Ich werde ihn auf jeden Fall abonnieren und wünsche Ihnen in Zukunft viel Glück mit all Ihren Inhalten. This mode performed remarkably well, accurately translating everything. However, I'm curious about its performance at greater distances, such as when, for example, you're attending events and trying to understand the speaker on stage. Currently, it appears to be tailored for close proximities, but it would be incredible to witness its potential in the near future. Next, we have One Dial, which is suitable for remote voice calls or meetings. With this mode, you can make voice calls in various languages. Simply input the six-digit number of another X one device and press call. Grab the earbuds and you're set for a cross-language call. I'm really looking forward to testing this one and seeing if there will be much lag between the speaking. Hello, Max is here. Hi Max, it's Oliveira here from HR. I'm just calling to let you know that I've scheduled in your meeting tomorrow for your review for 2 p.m. Does that suit you? Yeah, das passt. Das klingt gut. Great. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Das ist nett. Dankeschön. Das mache ich, wenn irgendwas sein sollte. Thank you, and I wish you a wonderful day. 
While this system does effectively translate and function well, there are several drawbacks to consider. It's convenient to be able to dial someone's number and immediately engage in conversation, but this necessitates that the other person also possesses an X1 interpreter hub. Additionally, we observed that the translation process took quite a while, which could lead to some awkward pauses during phone calls, particularly when you aren't able to see the other person. The X1 can also be a handheld translator. Here's where the mode ask and go is convenient. With a simple tap, you can easily do quick and hassle-free communication right away, like asking for directions, for example. This is also a good way to receive direct translations without needing to share your earbuds with someone. Let's take it to the streets and see if it's as useful as it claims to be. Uh, excuse me, sorry, do you know where the nearest train station is? Entschuldigung, wissen Sie, wo der nächste Bahnhof ist? Äh, ja, Sie müssen nur die Straße runtergehen und links, und da sehen Sie den Bahnhof schon. Yes, you just have to go down the street and turn left and you will see the train station. Perfect, thank you so much. And do you know if there is a good cafe on the way? Perfect. Vielen Dank. Und wissen Sie, ob es unterwegs ein gutes Café gibt? Ja, da müssen Sie auch, wenn Sie dann zum Bahnhof links abbiegen, auf der rechten Seite gegenüber vom Bahnhof, da ist ein Café, das heißt Havit. Havit Café. Yes, there you have to, even if you then turn left to the station. On the right side opposite the station, there is a cafe, that is, coffee, coffee. Thank you so much, that's very kind of you. I wish you a wonderful day. Vielen Dank. Das ist sehr nett von dir. Ich wünsche Ihnen einen schönen Tag. Also, danke. Ciao. <laughs> I consider this mode to be the most practical of all, particularly for those intending to travel abroad. It proves quite effective, offering a near-perfect translation with occasional errors, which are generally manageable. However, once again, the long waiting time for the voice translation can sometimes create awkward moments, especially with a stranger who may already be confused with the situation. Additionally, it's essential to ensure that you press the button before the other person speaks, which might pose a further communication communication challenge. Now the bit that's really cool and unique is multi-way interpretation. This mode supports up to five languages for 20 people online or offline, which means it's perfect for a meeting where you need to communicate with people from all over in multiple languages. Connecting with other devices is also very simple. All you need to do is double click the side button and then place two devices together and ta-da, you're officially connected. You can do this with up to 20 devices in a single meeting room. Building a meeting room is very quick and easy. Simply click on create a meeting and you will be given a meeting number, which you can then share with other attendees. You also have the option to set a password if you wish, and everyone can join the meeting using this number and this password. For the purpose of this test, Casper, Max and I will speak to each other in English, German and Bulgarian to see how well this mode works. Good morning, everyone. I hope you are doing well today. I just want to talk with you about our new video. So do you have any ideas? Какво ще кажете за най-новите версии на смартфони от средни клас? Das ist eine gute Idee. Ich kann auch ein paar Animationen mit einbauen, damit das Video ein bisschen spannender wird. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, sounds good. So, what do you think? How long do we need for this? Може би два дни с снимане и обработване. Ja, ich glaube, das ist machbar. Ich kann morgen mit den Animationen schon anfangen, müssen vorarbeiten. Okay, yeah, sounds great. So then you will write the text, right? And you will cut it afterwards. 
There is also a charging hub which is super convenient as it can charge the devices and set up meetings automatically with the materials. As you can see, this feature isn't perfect yet, however Time Kettle is working really hard on improving it and they have already released several updates that we have tested. I can honestly say that there has been definite improvement each time. The feature does work and you can generally communicate with one another, but it can sometimes get the translation wrong, therefore it's super important to speak clearly and not too fast. Let's take a quick look at the build quality, which is actually pretty sleek, as well as the battery life. Although a little chunky, the device doesn't feel too heavy and it's easy to carry around on the go. It has a 3.4 inch HD screen, making it easy peasy to navigate through all the cool features. The earbuds are smoothly hidden in a tray inside the device, which you can easily access with a simple click and pull. The X1's also got a multi-directional noise reduction feature that keeps your audio crystal clear, even in loud places. And hey, who's got time to wait around for a charge? Just five minutes of charging gives you a whopping 120 minutes of use. Talk about convenience. It's definitely larger in size than its predecessor, which we have also previously reviewed, so be sure to check out that video as well. But on the other hand, you don't need any apps or your phone to use the latest version, which is a bonus. AI technologies include RNNVAD, a voice recognition algorithm that uses machine learning to improve translations by recognizing and adapting to human voices. And Unismart AITP, a translation platform that combines top translation engines and a large server network work to process translations quickly and accurately across many languages using natural language processing. So that pretty much sums up the Time Kettle X1 Interpreter Hub. It's also important to mention that while the one-on-one -on -one mode and listen and play mode both offer offline translation for 13 language pairs, the ask and go mode lacks this feature, which we believe would be highly convenient. However, listen and go mode serves as a similar option, especially when seeking directions while on the move. Additionally, having an offline option for voice call mode would be beneficial, particularly in situations where you're perhaps away from Wi-Fi and someone is attempting to contact you. All in all, we do believe that this product offers value to those who may find themselves constantly needing to translate either on the go, in relationships, while traveling, or even at work. We will have the product linked in the description down below, so make sure to check that out. And as always, give this video a big like if you enjoyed it and found it useful, and don't forget to subscribe to be a part of our Versus community if you aren't already. With that being said, we'll see you in the next video and until then, take care.